The reality, ladies and gentlemen and ministers, is that you have a problem. And it is a problem of perception. It is a problem that goes from the very top of your industry to its very grassroots. And allow me to explain why I say that. First of all, the one of perception, the extent, the depth, the range, the entire panoply of industries and people that are involved in tourism in its widest concept. The reality is that many people do not perceive themselves as being involved in the tourism industry. To be sure, if you're a flight attendant, or maybe you're working in a hotel, you can see the direct lineage between that which you do and the tourism industry overall. But since we take as a conservative number 10% of the world's population is in some shape or form, I think that's slightly underestimating it, involved in the tourism industry, you begin to see that the ripple effects are much greater. I'll give you one example. How many of you watch CNN when you're on holiday, when you're on vacation? So does that mean that I'm involved in the tourism industry? Am I? Perhaps, perhaps not. The second part of perceptional problems that you have is that when it comes to travel, and when it comes to tourism, and by that I'm defining it, and Geoffrey and I have had this argument before, as leisure tourism, not business tourism, when it comes to tourism, nobody wants to make the changes. The tourist is spending their hard-earned cash going on their precious two-week vacation. And there is a reluctance, what one might call nimbyism. Not in my backyard. Let me rephrase that. Not on my vacation. But ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, we have to change the mindset of the tourist, whether it be the business traveller or the vacationer, that we're in this sinking boat together and we need to offer them realistic possibilities and procedures to help bail us out of it. And I'll finish with one final thought. It's what I call, and I don't want to dwell on the so-called towel debate, it's what I call the default position. What do your members in the hotel industry, what is the default position for guests? Most hotels will tell you without shame or fury, the default position is we will change your sheets unless you tell us otherwise. Until we change that mindset from top to bottom, that the default position will be the most environmentally friendly, we won't change your sheets every day, every third day or whatever, until we change the mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, you've produced Devosian language. And I would suggest and respectfully submit that more work needs to be done on changing the mindset rather than producing pamphlets of fine-sounding language.